हेलो एवरीबॉडी आई होप एवरीवन वन इज़ स्टेइंग सेफ एट दर होम्स सो वेलकम यू ऑल बैक टू माय नेक्स्ट ट्यूटोरियल ऑन एंड्रॉयड फ्रेमवर्क कंपोनेंट्स एंड बाय द वे दिस इज डिंपल योर इन टुडे सेशन वी विल सी डिफरेंट टर्मिनोलॉजीज रिलेटेड टू कैमरा मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम वी यूज कैमरा वी विल यूज मेनी टेक्नोलॉजीज लाइक एच डी आर मोड जूम वी विल यूज द जूम फीचर वी विल यूज नाइट मोड Sometimes we come across the words what is exposure, aperture, all these things. But do we exactly know what is these terminologies mean? So today we will see what exactly are those terminologies. So basically, we'll learn a new, uh, we'll learn few uh, new terminologies today. So let's get started. first of all what is exposure so exposure is nothing but it is the amount of light collected by your camera sensor we all know in our android device we will have a camera sensor right to capture images camera hardware part will be there so the amount of light falling on that particular camera sensor that light is measured in terms of exposure so you all can see light passes through the camera lens from the lens it passes through the aperture from there it passes through the shutter from which it falls back to camera image sensor so how much light is falling on this sensor that is called as exposure so the main effect of photography exposure is to capture the image with determined brightness when you shoot a perfectly exposed photo you are capturing all the details okay so here we will learn two more terms what is under exposure and uh, what is over exposure under exposure so uh, the exposure effect when the camera sensor doesn't receive enough light so here i showed the sensor right when this sensor will not receive enough light your image image looks a bit dark uh, it's not very clear okay that situation is called as under exposure okay uh, it will be like crushed shadows it will be the crushed the blacks okay uh, we will not have information about the dark areas of the image most of the image will be very dark that is called as under exposure and over exposure is a contrast of it so when there is too much light falling on your camera sensor that part uh, that situation is called as over exposure okay so it few of the highlights will be blown out it will burn the highlights so what is the result we will have a bright image and which is not very detailed which is not very clear and apt image so i hope this is clear let's move on here is an example uh, so this is an example for under exposure where we are missing information in the darkest pixels okay you all can see this image is quite dark whereas the opposite is over exposure you all can see the image is very bright here we are missing information in the bright regions of the picture whereas the middle picture is the exact a uh, picture which is not over exposed or under exposed it is an example for a perfect capture so i hope after seeing this image it's clear so exposure uh, value is the result of interaction of three main basic things okay first one is aperture shutter speed and iso so we will see uh what is aperture so aperture is nothing but the opening that determines how much light passes through the camera lens to the sensor so here in this i had shown so aperture is nothing but it will define how much light is falling from the camera lens to the sensor so if this area is wider that means more amount of light is being passed to the sensor if this is very narrow that means very less amount of light is falling to the camera sensor so uh, it's understood right when the area is wider when the more amount of light is falling your image will be brighter when this aperture value is very narrow obviously less light is passed to the sensor and image will be darker so you all can see an example here so your uh, aperture is f focal length followed by uh, 2.8 you can see here it is wider so more light is falling so that's why your image is brighter when compared to the first one the second uh, focal length is reduced and you can see 
this image is not as bright as the first image and you can see the last one it's very very narrow only small amount of light can pass through this aperture so we can see here the image is darker compared to the previous two images so this is how we measure the aperture next exposure will also depend on the shutter speed okay shutter speed is nothing but it's the length of time that the shutter of the camera remains open collecting light how long the shutter is open so the longer the shutter is open the more light will be falling on your camera sensor so the longer the brighter the image will be if your uh, shutter is very quick okay the time less light will hit the sensor which will result in darker image so we'll see an example for that also see here uh, if your uh, uh, shutter press is very slow that means more light is falling on your camera sensor and you can see brighter image whereas if you uh, click on the shutter button fast when you uh, capture images very quickly the time less light will be falling and it results in darker images so that's an example for shutter speed there is one more parameter which defines the exposure and that is called as iso so iso is the amplification of the light captured by the camera sensor so whatever a light is falling on the sensor that light is amplified by this iso the final exposure on your image and the iso are completely related even though iso is not natural part of exposure okay so the higher the iso the brighter your image will be because it is amplifying it is multiplying the brightness and the lower the iso the darker the image will be okay so you all can see if iso is 100 how the image is captured if it is 200 how it is captured 400 and you can see when it is 3200 how beautiful the image is captured how clear and apt it is so this is iso so we learned what is exposure we learned what is aperture how shutter speed will define the quality of the image how iso will affect the brightness of the image next we'll see what is this hdr mode so everywhere we, we use hdr mode right so hdr stands for high dynamic range it is nothing but it's a set of techniques that combines multiple exposures into a single frame that encompasses the brightness range of the entire set so you all can see here before using hdr mode the image is like this the sky is very bright and the shadow of the tree is falling on this uh, image which is making it a bit darker so we can say sky is overexposed and the shadow is underexposed it the picture is not very clear but once we make use of this hdr mode we can see that the sky is in its natural color and the even the shadow is not falling much on the uh, image here you all can get a difference right so this is how hdr mode will make a difference it will combine multiple exposures multiple times it will take images and it will combine them giving us the best image it will uh, do some tonal adjustment so that everything is appearing in its natural color nothing is overexposed and nothing is underexposed next we will see what is this night mode so night mode we can see when the night mode is disabled the image when we capture an image in the dark it will be as it is so if we enable night mode we get a natural image how uh, the image looks when we capture in bright light similar image we get so night mode also it's a variation of hdr technique it captures different images of the same subject at varying exposure levels okay different images it will capture at different shutter speed lengths and later what it will do it will use machine learning so night mode will use machine learning to process all these images it will give the objects its natural color after all this processing it will give us the final output which is very beautiful so night mode will use machine learning processing toning all these things in the background it will click multiple images it will combine and the best image output it will give us 
So this process also allows the photo highlights to become visible while still maintaining the darkness of the shadows. You all can see one more example here. You all can see one more example here. If night mode is off, how the image looks and if light mode is on, how the image looks. So this entire process takes place in matter of seconds. Okay, so we just click an image, but in the background, there is multiple things happening. All this will take just matter of seconds. By the time you view the photo, all the work that goes into taking multiple photos, combining them and optimizing the image will already be done. Next we'll see zoom. So zooming is nothing but upscaling crop of single image. Here we can see an image without using the zoom feature and here we can see how uh, minute features are captured, minute changes are captured. So zoom also uh, it works similar to night mode. What it will do? It will uh, take multiple frames of the image and it will merge them into HDR mode high definition mode okay high resolution mode it will merge so these are some of the things I wanted to tell you all today so we uh, we use all these day by day every day so uh, it's important that we will know the uh, information about these terminology so that's why I made this video I hope this was informative and helpful to everyone I'll see you all in my next tutorial until then everyone take care stay home stay safe thank you